taken care of correctly, cast iron skillets will last a lifetime. So buying the right one is important, and Adam's here to tell us more. Cast iron is an interesting story these days, Julia, because 100 years ago, there were a lot of small producers in this country that made their own pans, but these days, most cast iron pans are actually imported from China, where cast iron was developed in the fifth century. However, in the last decade, smaller producers have started to pop back up. And they're going for a couple of the characteristics of the old pans that disappeared with mass production. Lighter weight, you know, cast iron pans are totally heavy, and also a smoother surface. In the mass production, they're cast in these molds. They don't really hand polish them, but these smaller producers are hand polishing them. Mm. We got super curious about this, of course. So we decided to test them. We have our lineup of 11 cast iron pans. They're all 12 inch, they're all pre-seasoned. The days of cast iron being reliably cheap are gone. The price range was stunning to me. $20 at a low to $295 for a cast iron pan. Hello. Yeah. This one was the lightest one of all. Usually they range from six to eight pounds. You know, that one's a little easier to handle than some of the Sorry. heavier ones. This is how I really test it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna step away while you <laughs> test that. No, that is pretty light. But you know, in our test, testers found that actually it didn't sear or brown food quite as evenly. It ran a little bit hot because it was a little bit lighter. And simple formula, less mass, less heat retention, mm -hmm. less even browning. The second part of the story, though, is the finish. These really smooth finishes. I mean, feel this one compared to that one. Oh, this is nice. This is almost like nonstick. Yeah, testers love these smooth finishes. Oh my gosh. they were super easy to clean. Yeah. It's like a nail file. I hear that. <laughs> Don't have to get a manicure tonight. <laughs> these were easy to clean easy to season, they had great stick resistance, so that was a real benefit. In terms of dimensions, in every piece of cookware we like as much cooking surface as we can get, it was about 10 inches for these guys. One of the pans fell a little bit short, that one down on the end. Ooh, look at this smaller. handle. Yeah, that's a, that's a great handle. This thing's heavy. <laughs> And yeah, look at that, small. These are definitely hefty pans, so you wanna have a good beefy handle to hold on to. And testers like handles that were larger rather than smaller. You can tell that one down there, that's really big, although it may not be comfortable for smallest hands. This one here, both the primary handle and the helper handle, try those out. Little skimpy, <laughs> just a little skimpy. In the end, it was one of these pans from a smaller producer that took the top spot. This is the Smithy Ironware number 12. Mm. Feel that, baby. Ooh. That was among the heaviest of the pans from smaller manufacturers. Look at that surface. It's beautiful. Oh, it's nice. It was super stick resistant, easy to season, easy to clean. Testers loved this pan. It was not, however, inexpensive. It was $200. If you want to spend a little bit less, we have a Best Buy, which is Old Faithful Lodge <laughs> cast iron. That's yep. the Lodge 12 inch cast iron skillet. It's heavy, it actually, by the end of the testing, even though it was a little rougher at the beginning, it was smooth and stick resistant and well seasoned and it's $43. Oof, quite a difference. Yep. And both of these winners are made in the US. Absolutely. Ah, I like that. So there you have it. If you want a really nice cast iron skillet, check out the Smithy Ironware Number no. 12 for 200 bucks. Or for the Best Buy, check out the Lodge 12 inch cast iron skillet for just $43. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>